first? My first question is, looking at the conference, what did you consider the highlights and, and the, the takeaway messages to be? Well, uh, I have to answer that question in two parts. Okay. Uh, first, looking at the conference as a whole, uh, one of the things that I was most pleased with was how great an interest there is in health care reform. We just sent out a simple little email invitation and uh, in the first day, uh, we had so many responses, uh, we had to begin putting people on a wait list. And not only were there a very large number of people who wanted to come, uh, but they represented an extremely diverse uh, group of interests and organizations. In the end, over 100, almost 120 different organizations uh, were represented at the conference. So from, and, and, and there was tremendous interaction throughout the day uh, among the various people and between them and the presenters and so on. Now, substantively, uh, I think the most important things were probably sent, said in the morning uh, presentations uh, rather than in the panel. Uh, the highlights for me uh, were uh, John Chauvin's emphasis on the importance of having a dedicated tax so that Congress could be uh, simultaneously considering uh, the benefits and the expenditures that would be made under a publicly supported program and the taxes that would have to be collected in order to uh, finance that program. We've never had that in the United States and that's one of the reasons why we keep running up uh, such huge deficits uh, on our health care uh, programs. Uh, the second point that Chauvin made uh, was a case for a value-added tax to uh, support uh, universal uh, health care, and I'm very much in favor of that also. And while in the beginning, when we first proposed this about five, six years ago, I say we, uh, Ezekiel, Daniel, and I, uh, we had uh, almost a uniformly negative uh, response. Uh, now, uh, within the last uh, month or two, uh, many voices uh, in Washington and outside are beginning to say, you know, uh, the value-added tax isn't uh, a bad idea. Now, uh, with regard to uh, the other important point uh, uh, was made by uh, Steve Shortell, and it had to do with the organization and delivery of care and the uh, critique, uh, well made and, and well justified, uh, that the present fragmented system uh, is ill-equipped uh, to deal with the problems of quality and cost. And uh, the solution is for uh, most of the care to be organized in what he calls uh, accountable care organizations. These are organizations that would both take uh, financial responsibility uh, for delivering care to a defined population of enrollees, but also take uh, medical responsibility uh, for delivering care of high quality uh, with good uh, service. And I'm very supportive of that idea as well. Uh, with regard to Garber's presentation, I guess uh, the most important thing was uh, his uh, spirited explanation and defense of uh, comparative effectiveness research and the contribution that that research can make both to uh, uh, the quality problem and the uh, cost of care problem. In the final presentation, you discussed um, a series of likely outcomes. Can you walk me through what some of those are? What I think will come out this year? Yes. Yeah, well, because so many people have invested so much of their time and energy and reputation in getting, uh, quote, something for health care reform, I'm pretty sure that something will emerge. Uh, the, it's very hard to say at this point exactly what it will be. Uh, the lobbying efforts, both pro and con, are just swinging into action now. Furthermore, 
the outcome can be determined by events which seem to be almost unrelated to the issues that are being discussed. Everything from a battle over the Supreme Court nominee to some kind of crisis overseas that requires congressional administration attention. It's really, really anybody's guess as to what will come. But probably they will try to put in some kind of additional coverage for some of the uninsured. They will put in something that is supposed to deal with the payment problem. The payment problem being now mostly in Medicare that the main form of payment to physicians is simply fee for service. And almost everybody is advocating some changes in that so that you have more bundling of payment. You buy a package of services. Or they want to put in things like bonuses and penalties depending upon outcomes. So you're paying partly in terms of outcomes, not just in terms of services that have been delivered. I think you'll see something along those lines. Whether you'll see a government health insurance company to go in with the compete with the private companies, I don't know. There's certainly a significant minority of Congress that's very much in favor of it. Some of them have said if we don't get that, we're not going to support health care reform. But how that plays out, it's just much too early to tell. Six months is a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you.